Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, um, this is a channel where we like to focus primarily on tools that will help you in the world of data. In this particular segment, we're focused on Python and in this video specifically, how to get started with a virtual environment. Virtual environments really are a way to help you separate different projects and the dependencies that you wanna use for a specific project. When you initially install Python, all of your packages, everything that you uh, install is all one big, essentially, folder of everything. Using virtual environments allows you to separate them, which then, you know, depending on your project, you can have different versions or different things uh, in it. A lot of use cases for that. In this video, we'll show you how to actually do that. So if we hop over into Visual Studio Code, and let's just say, uh, first, Python version just to show that it exists python is installed now if we do pip list pip being the tool that allows you to download python packages we can see i have a ton of different ones here some from previous videos you know dbt but a lot of times in our different projects we probably don't need all of these we probably don't need most of them so how can we separate this out and the answer is using virtual environments python provides some pretty good documentation on this and it's pretty straightforward and i'll just walk you through the steps so I'm on a, on a Windows machine, and obviously if you have Mac or Linux, you can do something else. The original, you'll see here, one has virtual environment. If you scroll down here, it has V-E-N-V, Venv, I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, but essentially, if you have anything over Python 3, you should use this version. If you're using Python 2, you'll use this command. Um, in our case, we're on Python 3, so I will use this command copy this here now what we would expect this to do is create a virtual environment called env this last part right here is just the name of your virtual environment so you're calling python you can say you know, python if you want to be clear add the flag dash m calling this command then because we're on python 3 and then giving it a name so let's run this and we can see up here now it's created this it has all uh, the basic folders here. Now, how can we use this? Right now, we're not actually in that environment. We've created it, but we want to get into it. So, activating it. If we want to use this, again, on Windows, we'll run this command, which is going to look in here and run this script here. That's technically what it's doing. So, let's call this. And now we can see here, it's giving us this in parentheses, meaning we are in this environment. We're here. So if we do pip list, we only have two, which is way different than what we had here. So now anytime we're in this uh, environment, we're only working with this. So we, we know specifically what's in there. It's, it's completely separate. Now, how do we get out of this? Let's say we don't want to work in here anymore. All you write is deactivate. And now we're back out. If we want to, and if we do pip list again, we can see we're back here. If we run this script again to go back into the environment, again, different packages. So let's get out of here. Let's create a completely different one. Instead of calling it env, we'll call it um, test env, just to show you the difference. And we should see here, now there's another one. Now, if we want to go into that specific environment, Instead of following this path, which is going to take us to this environment's script activate, we want to go to this one. That means we would change this to test env, and there we go. We're in here. Pip list. Let's say we want to add something. Let's add um, pip install requests. What this is doing is installing this only to this test env environment. So if we do pip list, remember we're still working in here because we have this. We can see we're still in that environment. We now have requests along with the other uh, packages that were that were with it. Now we're out of it. Again, pip list. We're going to have all of them because we're in our full computers. You know the main computers version of uh, Python and its packages. Let's move back over into not this environment, but the env. If we look at this list, what would we expect? We would expect only the original two because we didn't 
install requests there. Requests went to test env. And again, there it is, it's just the two. Deactivate. Um, lastly, I'll just do it one more time just to drive home the point. You can see these different tools in different environments and you can start to grow it, build different projects. Hopefully this helps clear the air to how to actually use a virtual environment. It's really fairly simple. It's just something that I think initially can be a little confusing and a little daunting, but at least it was for me. But once, like, like many other things, once you actually do it, you realize it's really not that bad. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I plan to add a few more on Python and hopefully this was valuable to you. Please feel free to drop a comment. Hit the like button, subscribe if you found this helpful, and I will see you at the next video. Thank you.